advised. How can you buy the sky? How can you own the rain and the wind? My mother told me, every part of this earth is sacred to our people. Every pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every meadow and humming insect are all holy and the memory of our people. My father said to me, I know the sap that courses through the trees as I know the blood that flows in my veins. We are part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The bear the deer, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The voice of my ancestors said to me, the shining water that moves in the streams and rivers is not simply water, but the blood of your grandfather's grandfather. Each ghostly reflection in the clear waters of the lakes tells us memories in the life of our people. The waters murmur and the voice of your great-great-grandmother. The rivers are our brothers. They quench our thirst. You must give to the rivers the kindness you would give to any brother. The voice of my grandfather said to me, the air is precious. It shares its spirits with all the life it supports. The wind that gave me my first breath also received my last sigh. Will there be any spirit of my people left? My ancestors said to me, The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. The voice of my grandmother said to me, Teach your children what you have been taught. What befalls the earth befalls all the sons and daughters of the earth. Hear my voice and the voice of my ancestors. The destiny of your people is a mystery to us. When the view of the ripe hills is blotted by talking wires, where will the thicket be? Gone? Where will the eagle be? Gone. This we know. Hello? <coughs> Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Uh, he lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for... 
a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well, what should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. <laughs> Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Come on, girl. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes downriver, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation, and that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. 
The Rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Control group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get her on the back. Stay close to the wall. Shh. There's a guard right above us.
just down here. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, oh, no. oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Shit. I don't think we're sneaking out. Sealed back up. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? What about that cannon? Okay. Sounds like one of their patrols is on its way. Come on. Let's use this thing. Very 
that wall now, or we're out of time. We're through. Let's go. Here, come on. Get on. I got to. Let's go, quick. I've got some canoes set up at the river down here. to the computer. Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? Thank you. No much. Yeah.
Okay, copy. West of the smoke. I'm looking at danger close now. 